how to send crypto from your Binance account to your Bybit account or the other way around. So firstly, we need to withdraw from one platform and receive on the other. So in your Binance account, you can click withdraw right here or withdraw crypto. So I'll click withdraw and it takes me through to the withdraw page right here. Now we have to go through this process of selecting the coin and the network. So that's the two things we need to know is the coin that we're sending, both platforms accept it and the network that we're using, both platforms use that network. So from here, we're going to select a coin to withdraw and then on the other network, which is Bybit, we're going to be sending that coin. So we need to receive that coin in our Bybit account. In our Bybit account, we go to funding. That's where you'll be receiving your crypto. Go to crypto right here and then search for the asset that you want to receive. I'll show you with US dollar tether right here, a stable coin that we can send and receive uh, between both platforms. So we need a deposit address, obviously, on the platform that we're receiving to. So press deposit on the right hand side and that will come up with the options. So USDT is a stable coin on many different networks. And as you can see right here, we have a big selection of them. Which network should you use? Well, it doesn't matter. As long as both platforms use the same network, we can accept the asset on that network. So what we're actually going to do is go back to our Binance account where we're sending the asset from, and we're going to choose a network right here. So select the coin. I'll select USDT. I'll go down to withdraw to, and then we have the address. What I'm actually going to do is go over to the networks right here, click this and see which networks I can send from. Now, what you'll see here is that each network has a different cost. For example, Ethereum, if I send on here, it's going to cost me $6 to send that transaction. However, if I scroll down, I also have Optimism here, which is going to cost me 14 cents. So we're sending US dollar tether. It doesn't matter which network we send it on. Binance is going to have balances on all of these networks. And all we're doing is sending a message from one platform to another that we have a balance of USDT and we need to send and receive it. So it doesn't matter which network that we're using. So I'm going to choose the cheaper network. So I'll choose Optimism here, which is an Ethereum scaling solution. So, you know, it's fine to use in my opinion. So we have Tether and we're using the Optimism network. Now, as you can see here, the token that we're sending, which is this one, it has a contract address ending in 58E58. We can use this to make sure that the other network accepts this token. So we're going to go over to Bybit and we're going to see if we can accept Tether on the Optimism network. We can. It's this one right here. You have to make sure that both platforms can send and receive the same asset on the same network. If you send on one network and try to receive on a different one, it's not going to get through. So you're going to lose your funds. We can see the contract address here is E58, E58. That is the same as we're sending from Binance. So we are sure that we're sending the exact same asset on these networks. I now am looking to receive this asset on the Optimism network. I'm going to acknowledge this. And this is my deposit address for my Bybit account. So for right here, this deposit address, this is a long address here. If you're using a phone, you can scan the QR code. I'm going to copy this deposit address. So now this is the deposit address for USDT on the Optimism networks. Different networks have different addresses. So just make sure that you're copying the address on the network that you want. I'll go back to Binance and I'm going to paste in this address. As you can see here, the network uh, goes off again because this address is actually used on a few different types of networks, but we're going to choose Optimism and no problems here. If you have a problem here, it may come up in red or it may say unmatched address, but I've got no issues right here. The withdrawal amount is simple, so I'm going to press max. We can check the amount to withdraw. We can check the fee and then we can uh, press withdraw right here. Now, depending on what you've got set up with your Binance account, uh, whether it's a Google Authenticator or YubiKey, or if you have an email, uh, two-factor authentication, anything like that, then you'll have to go through this. I'm checking the address. I'm checking the network. It's the same on both ends and the amount. I'm going to press continue. Now, for me, I have passkey set up. So all I have to do is put in my passkey and that is signed. If you have that set up, put in your passkey or put in your other authenticator method and that withdrawal is sent from Binance. Same asset, same network going over to our Bybit account. A quick tip here as well, if you're sending layer one coins between platforms, 
for example, Ethereum, which can be sent and received on many different networks. We're going to go to Ethereum here, press deposit, and you should see that we can actually receive this coin on all of these different networks. So we just have to make sure that we can send and receive this coin on one of the networks that is supported. So we'll go over to our Binance account. We're sending ETH. And all we're doing here is sending a message between the exchanges that this person has a balance of ETH and the other exchange has to credit that amount of ETH to their trading account. So we're going to go to the networks here. You can see that if I do use the Ethereum mainnet, I'm spending $5 for that transaction. But a scaling layer like base is going to charge me three cents. So I'm going to click base. And what we're going to do is go over to Bybit and make sure that we can receive Ethereum on the base network. You can see that right here. I'll click that. And because this is Ethereum, it's not a contract. It's not a token. There are no token um, addresses you can see here. So we're just going to acknowledge. We're going to press copy. That is our Ethereum address. We're going to go over to our Binance account, paste this in, choose the network as base network. What's happening here is that there's a message sent between the exchanges to debit and credit an account with Ethereum, the amount that you send. Now, just because you're using base to send from Binance to Bybit, it doesn't mean your Ethereum is stuck on the base network. Exchanges use Omnibus accounts and they're just going to credit your account with an amount of ETH. If you send from Binance to Bybit using base, once the ETH gets over to your Bybit account, you can withdraw that ETH over any of the other networks. Right. So if you want to withdraw on Optimism or Arbitrum or the Ethereum mainnet, once it hits your Bybit account, you can do that. Your ETH is not stuck on this network. We're just using this network as a messaging system between the two exchanges. And that's how you send crypto between the two exchange platforms. I'll leave deposit and trading bonuses to the platforms I use down in the description below. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.